SharePoint is really easy to find your files, said nobody ever. So that's why it's interesting to see the new Copilot agents experience being made available inside of SharePoint. What if instead of searching for the file that you can never find, you could simply ask your Copilot through SharePoint in a web browser information on a file or multiple files in one of your folders, without the need to even open a single Word document or Excel spreadsheet, or even be able to share a Copilot of access to your SharePoint files with your colleagues in Teams chat or an email to make sure you never have those questions that you get every single week where you point people back to one of the files in your SharePoint site. Because in this video, I'm going to show you the new SharePoint Copilot agents that can deliver all of that new capability. And better yet, it's even available today. And before we dive in, if you want to improve the way that you work with Microsoft Copilot and learn some great new prompts, then why not check out our free ebook link below. You can download and access for free instantly. So let's now head into the new Copilot agents in SharePoint and find out how you can transform the way that you work with your files. So let's dive into our new SharePoint agent capabilities. And to do that, I've headed into Microsoft Teams. And by selecting the Files tab, you'll be able to access all of your files in your given Microsoft team, remembering that your files are powered by Microsoft SharePoint. Pine your team lives a SharePoint site that holds all of these files. And that's where your Copilot agent exists inside of SharePoint. So let's go ahead and select the Open in SharePoint button to open it inside of a web browser tab. And inside of these folders, we have different files, invoices, legal documents like non-disclosure agreements, project documentation and more, just like any one of your other SharePoint sites. But where is our new Copilot? Well, every single SharePoint team site comes with a pre-configured Copilot for you to use, pre-built by Microsoft. In the right-hand side, you can select the Copilot icon and then it will open a right-hand side sidebar when you can now go ahead and ask questions to your Copilot. This Copilot is scoped to the given site you're working within. It hasn't got any access to data outside of this site. So let's go ahead and ask it a question around a potential file in here to understand a little bit more around our project objectives for Project Green Space. And there we go, our prompt added into Copilot and in seconds we had a response back to let me know about what the objectives of the project are. But where is that information coming from? Well, by selecting the references below, we can see it's a Word document stored inside of this SharePoint site. And also just like any other Copilot we've seen, we can ask follow up questions into the Copilot agent that also will be taken directly from the content stored in your SharePoint site. That's pretty powerful and often would mean we don't have to use SharePoint search to find relevant files. Ask the Copilot and it will tell you even more about all the files and folders in your given site. A bit scary I know, but remember that the Copilot is only going to give information about files that you have access to when you're asking Copilot. But let's give it another question. I want to understand more about invoicing. Let's go ahead and add in that prompt. And with that prompt, in seconds we had information based on all the invoices. Once again, this information is coming from invoices stored inside of our invoicing folder. But that itself can prove a problem. You may not want your Copilot to be so chatty about given content. You may want to customize your Copilot to focus on given content inside of your SharePoint site. And with Copilot agents, we can still do exactly that. All we'll need to do is select the drop down next to our project green space and select create an agent. In this dialog here, it immediately creates an agent for us called general agent. But I want to customize this agent further. So I'm going to go ahead and select the edit button. And now we can customize the name, icon and give it a better description. We're going to use our Copilot to focus only on project documentations instead of invoices. I mean, it can focus on objective scope and more. Let's go and add that information in. With that now done, let's also select sources at the top. And now we can customize what our Copilot agent is also going to have access to. But remember, I mentioned earlier that this Copilot agent only had access to the SharePoint site. Well, in this designer, I can actually give access to a different SharePoint site to also give information maybe on another Project Green Space folder, a different site that end users have access to. All you'll need to do is type in a site title It'll go ahead and search for SharePoint sites you have access to, which you then select in a drop down 
and choose the relevant folders for. But we won't do that in this scenario. Instead, what I want to do is focus on the information. And here, I don't want it to focus just on general. That's our Microsoft Teams general channel with all of our subfolders in. So I'll simply select the plus icon to add further folders. Now drilling inside of our general folder and only specifying project scope and roles, research and developments as our two content folders. And I'll then remove the general folder to make sure it doesn't pick up invoicing information as well. With that now done, I can select on behavior and now I also can begin to customize how my copilot operates in my colleagues. I could firstly define welcome messages, starter prompts, and also let the agent know how best it should respond to queries. Should it have humor? Should it be professional? What type of tone should it take? So I'll make a few changes here to make it more relevant to our project content. With that now customized, I've changed the welcome messaging, some starter prompts, and asked co-pilot to add a little humor to also make my colleagues smile. Because hey, we should be a little bit lighthearted when it comes to our project work. We can also on the right hand side begin to test our co-pilot. Let's ask who are the project team and send that into our co-pilot. It now only information provided in the folders that we've also specified and using this information and behavior will also be used. And we can see on the right hand side, it's provided the correct information once again from the files inside of our SharePoint site. Select save and on the right hand side to open your new co-pilot, click in the drop down once again and select your project green space file assistant. And once again here, you can test out your co-pilot. But that now is running our new co-pilot in the right hand sidebar, which is also now using the information we gave it from the specific folders. We can test that out by simply asking co-pilot more information about invoicing and see what it comes back with. And there we go. We can see the invoicing information we saw earlier in this tutorial is no longer shown. Now the co-pilot agent has no access to the folder. It can't answer any questions about invoices even though the end user had access to the folder and those files. But how is the copilot then authored? When you create it in this location, it will create a custom file called your copilot name.agent. You could even delete it from here, which then would delete the copilot agent. But I'm quite happy to leave it here. And that is also what delivers the copilot on the right hand side sidebar, also stored under the dropdown. But how do we share it with others? I want my project team to work with this co-pilot. Now I could absolutely do that for our SharePoint site. We can also click on the freed up menu and then we could also select the copy link for teams. When we select copy link here, it'll now allow us to set the security to our co-pilot agent. You can see the link I've created allows anyone in the company to edit this. But I can select settings here and also make changes. Maybe people with existing access or people that I choose. I'll go ahead and set it for only people with existing access to our team site. With that done, all I now need to do is go into Microsoft Teams chat and begin to share my co-pilot. So let's go ahead and share this with Nestor in Microsoft Teams to see how it all behaves. And with the magic of video editing, I've opened up a Teams message directly to Nestor and simply pasted in the link that we copied from SharePoint. And you'll see that when I do that, I can now add the agent to the chat. By selecting that button here, It'll now go ahead and add our SharePoint Copilot agent, specifically only for the relevant folders I've set it to. And by simply asking our new Copilot agent what is the purpose of Project Green Space, we can see a response made in line in the Teams chat. But let's now head back into SharePoint and also share this agent in a different way. By selecting the freed up menu here and selecting Share, I once again inside of the Sharing Options will select the Settings icon next to Copy Link and set it for only people with existing access. Select apply, and now we can copy the link. And if you now pasted this inside of an email message and shared it with your colleagues, if they follow that link, just like I do here, it'll open inside of a web tab, and they can now also begin to have discussions with your co-pilot agent in a separate tab on the web. And we're not even loaded SharePoint to this information. But of course, it's really important to make sure that only you share your copilot agent with people that have access to the relevant files in the SharePoint site. That's really important to ensure that your data always remains secure. But there we go. We now built a new copilot agent in SharePoint directly that your team can use on the right hand side, talk to in Teams and share on the web. With only access to relevant data, 
you'd like to also customize inside of Copilot Studio. So what do you think about these new experiences with Copilot Agents and SharePoint? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Personally, I think it's a step forward. No longer need to go into the SharePoint search box and search for your files. Ask your Copilot agent to pull back information in real time. You won't even need to open files to begin with. That's a huge time saver. But let's also consider a few limitations at the moment. Yes, you cannot use this right now in communication sites where I think it's the biggest benefit could be. Imagine a HR portal with your policies or an expenses site with the information on your expenses policy. So there's no need for you to open that 50 page document to work out if you can claim back that coffee. And that's the thing, these new experiences are certainly being improved day by day. But getting started with them here and working with your co-pilot agent and sharing it with your colleagues, pulling away from that search box is certainly an improved experience. So if you like this video, hit that like button. I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to find more great content like this. And otherwise, I'll be seeing you in the next one.